Hi, I'm Congressman Dennis Kucinich. There's an attack on the idea that government has a role in the proper functioning of society. The battle has resulted in the privatization of government services, which leads to inefficiencies and higher bills for taxpayers. Across the country, we're seeing an attack on government workers who frequently work long hours in support of our great nation. On February 2nd, the House of Representatives passed H.R. 3835, legislation to extend a freeze on salaries for federal workers until December 2013. Federal employees have already sacrificed because of our shrinking budget. These men and women are members of the middle class and they're already subject to an unwarranted two-year pay freeze in the form of a five billion dollar cut to their wages and benefits by the end of 2012. They also face the possibility of layoffs and furloughs in the coming years as automatic spending reductions mandated by the Budget Control Act of 2011 reduce agency budgets for salaries. Federal employees are public servants who do work that is essential to this country every day. They guard our borders, care for our wounded veterans, deliver our mail, ensure the safety of our food supply, and provide many other sometimes invisible but important services. H.R. 3835 inappropriately groups the pay and benefits of members of Congress with the men and women of our federal civil service. In so doing, it attempts to turn federal employee pay into a political issue. Now, I'm not opposed to extending the pay freeze for members of Congress. However, I stand with the workers. The merits of pay increases for federal employees should be debated separately from our consideration of pay for members of Congress. I stand with the workers. That's why I voted against this bill which seeks to block any effort for workers to even get a tiny increase.